Ladies and gentlemen, please spam some thumbs up if you're ready to get back into Project Zomboid. And ready or not, let's do this and let's get back to Project Zomboid, my friends. It is good to see you. How's it going, my dudes? Welcome back to Project Zomboid, the place where we burn everything to the ground. That's how we do it. Hello, Lime Lover. Hello, Ranix. Hello, Peyton. Hello, Slippers. Hello, Luz. Hello, Betrayed. Hello, Sammy. How's it going, my friends? Burn, baby, burn. Oh, hell yeah. We got ourselves a couple of pie bombs over here and a granola bar. Amazing. It seems like it's raining heavily out there as well. We're dropping weight. We really need to eat something and eat a lot more. It's been a while. Hell yeah, it's been. Let's let's eat some chocolate cakes. Apparently, we got some of that. And yeah, some high calorie food would be perfect. So we stop losing weight and keep up at it. Got off your night shift? Sweet, dude. That sounds good. That sounds great, actually. Oh, man. It feels good to be able to eat actual food and not need to worry about it being food that is not worms. <laughs> hey, Gone Ace. How's it going, dude? Welcome, welcome. Apparently, we're drowsy at 3 p.m. Amazing. Uh, well played. Whoever played... Oh... Oh yes, this is uh, this is wet. This is very wet. Kind of crazy, but you love to see it. This is where we slept last time. Let's see what the view is like up here. Any Zeds? Seems pretty clear. Awesome. Takes a lot of work. Well, I'm glad for you that. Your night shift is done, my friend. I'm very glad. Now, how have we done so far? 11 days survived. We have killed 1,200 zombies. Okay numbers. Most of them with fire. Because that's just how we roll. Now, try not to fall. He succeeded in not falling. Good. Good, good, good. Playing Rimworld just now got raided by the Black Hive. Ah, six pawns died. The survivors got a reveal. That is it's quite a death toll, my friend. Quite a death toll there. Really, uh, slightly unfortunate, huh? But you got this. Black Hive can be pretty nasty. They have those big old nasty tanks as well, if I remember correctly. You work for the French Air Force as an aircraft engineer. Oh, damn. That's like big boy league right there. I like it. Perfect. Multiplayer project on my Moldra is empty, no cars or food or weapons. Somebody already looted everything, huh? Usually my experience with multiplayer project zomboid, if you're not there on day one, you're gonna have trouble <laughs> getting in at some later point. For sure. Alright, now since we're drowsy, I don't really want us to go anywhere far. I'm just gonna take the car and we're gonna... Actually, maybe I should turn this off before we go. We're gonna do a scouting mission. Just look around for a second. It's very fun. Hey, dude. What is... You know, if work is fun, it's not work at all, right? That's how I feel about it. Please try not to <laughs> fall out of the car. That'd be great. Oh, look, somebody burned everything to the ground over here. I wonder who that was. Also, uh, excuse me, no zombies allowed near my base. Let me do the stabbery stab stab. And then, come on. You got this. There you go. Drowsiness not helping. That's fine. But it pays you, so it's work. I, I see what you mean, yeah. I see what you mean. I mean... I can I can call YouTube work as well. It, it, it pays... It pays, you know. 
but it's still I'm playing games. How can I call that work? You know? Oh look! It's fallen Shogun who lies about playing Star Sector. I I know this person. Yes, yes, familiar, very, very familiar. If you have a generator running and you put uh, your car close to the building, its battery will charge. Don't you need a battery charger for that? These are the places we still need to loot for some food. So this is what we're gonna burn next, I think. You were in Scotland with no signal. Dude! Dude, don't, don't, don't do me like that, okay? No, 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 you don't really need to lie to me. You don't really need to lie to me. Really not necessary. Also, Lime Lover, never be too shy to post videos. What, uh, what is the worst that could happen? Nobody's gonna watch it, so, you know, just whatever it is. But if people watch it and people like it, like your work, well, then it's just good for you, right? So never be too shy. As the middle of a rainy field, just to send you a message via Discord. Sure, sure, sure you were. Sure you were. Like, Scotland is now an excuse not to post Star Sector videos. It's fine, it's fine. Look, I'm taking my subscription to this guy called Coco Chills MB. At least he's got some Star Sector videos on his channel. He's awesome and cool. I'm gonna watch him instead. Now you know. Alright, um, we're not going anywhere today. Let's see what we can do. What are our skills like? We got our carpentry up to four. That's that's pretty decent. Electrical is almost level two. We got mechanics at one. Really should get mechanics higher. We're gonna need to do some mechanics. Do we have the tools for it? That's the question. Mm, tools? Tools, maybe? Tools? Any tools? Doesn't look like we got any tools saved. That's kind of bad. You're blowing up lapses? Like, I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm at all not surprised. Right, we also need to find a needle. I remember that. We need to find a needle. You're insecure and scared about things? You really shouldn't be worried about such things, my friend. Trust me, it's all gonna be good. We have no car tools. Okay, so that's that's the thing we want next, then. Just want to motivate people to better themselves, but my own thoughts make me not post it. You would be surprised if you actually try to do it, uh, how good you're gonna feel. When people are gonna like it, and people are gonna say you help them. I work as a true blue color. I worked a plastic factory, but couldn't do YouTube job. I think it's hell of a job because it requires lots of patience. Yeah, you know, you also need to be much smarter for YouTube than I am. As you can see, like you can see, a lot of these big YouTubers, they are, they're much smarter than than me. I wish I was smart enough to be able to do well as a YouTuber, but alas. Alas. Can I attach anything here? Nope. Okay. Do you know what series you will do next? Uh, replacing which series is the question. Because right now we have the RimWorld series. We have the Project Zomboy Warman series, and we have this stream series, so... Which one are you talking about here? Yo, 6009, dude. It's definitely time to play it, but if you bought it when it released, that's almost 10 years ago now. Things might have changed since then. But it's a great game. It is pretty much the best zombie survival game out there. So, if you enjoy that, you have fun with it. Have you not read these magazines? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do some magazine reading because we can't 
We can't do anything right now because we are tired, but I don't want to... What is this? Aiming. Oh, cool. I don't want to go to bed yet because it's 6 p.m. So I'm going to keep him awake for a while. Very high quality content. Thank you. YouTube might disagree with you there. After the burn series? Oh, I don't know. Because I don't know how long it's gonna it's gonna take, you know? I don't know how, how long we're gonna do this before we die. So yeah, no idea. But I'm open to suggestions. Also, uh, last week I was talking about co going back to Twitch for streaming and just doing uh, videos on YouTube, so I might do that. And if I do go back to Twitch and streaming, I might stream some other games. But once again, uh, not quite decided yet what I want to do. So we'll see. 600 megs to 6 gigs. You know, in a 10 year time, that's, that's not that big of a change, is it? I don't know. <laughs> so you built to 50k? You know, still need like over 7k to get to 50k. It's gonna, it's gonna take a while. It's not gonna just happen. And I'm gonna have to post something actual interesting for people to want to join. But thank you for your congr congratulations. All right, now we do need to go to sleep. Very tired. It's gonna be 9 p.m. soon. Let's uh, let's have beer for dinner. That's perfect. What are you planning to burn down next? We're gonna uh, we're gonna go towards the car repair area that should be down the end of the road over here on the highway. We're gonna loot that because apparently we have no tools for. Uh, Repairing cars, and I do want to do some mechanics, and then we're gonna burn that place to the ground. How about that? I think I like the, the idea of this. All right, ridiculously tired. So it's 9 p.m. Let us go sleep Where I'm from I am from Slovenia in Europe Oh, looks like the rain is ending. You love to see it. You love to hear it. No, <laughs> rain is still here. All right. Well, now it is definitely time to go out there and let's have some fun with the zombies. We have granola bars, chips, and pie bombs with us. That should do for a while, I think. Let's eat some gummy waters. How are we doing on weight? Still losing weight, unfortunately. Oh, well, let's go. Now, I'm gonna have to be in rain. We do need a needle. If I can find a needle, we can make a poncho. So that'd be great. Been there before. Oh, nice. You're from Paris? I have been to Paris. So, here we go. It's rained for two months without stopping? You, dude. <laughs> Yeah, that's impressive. I do think I have settings on very rainy. Maybe, or just rainy. Which I guess is not very good when you're trying to burn down the city. But it'd be like that sometimes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Move. Move. There you go. Out of the way. Out of the way. I think this is the school. Oh, the school is still burning! Wow, the school is still burning. I wonder who burned that to the ground. And this place is still burning. I wonder who burned that to the ground. <laughs> You'll love to see it. That's good, that's good. Uh, the Stuns Sunstar Motel has uh, is still burning as well. Oh, boy. Wow. Lots of darkness out here. <laughs> downpour? Oh yeah, it's very, it's very downpour -y. 
Uh, we went there on a, to a bunch of museums and such. Uh, we went there with my girlfriend a couple of years ago. It was a fun place, for sure. I enjoyed it. It was... Dirtier than I expected, though. That's what I'm gonna say. There was... Some trash in the streets and such that, you know... When everybody talks about Paris, it's like, oh, it's the most romantic place and all that stuff and yeah I, I'm, I'm not in the right correct place am I I'm not in the correct place crap uh, zombies I did not want to be here sorry can we just resolve this peacefully I need to go a bit further further ahead no peaceful resolutions please peaceful resolutions don't let me burn you okay for I will do it I will burn you Oh boy, there's more coming. I don't even know what our spear skill is. It's probably not very good, is it? Oh, Jesus. There is definitely more coming. Okay. <laughs> Do we have a gun with us? I don't think we have a gun with us. Look, I just wanted a peaceful resolution, okay? That's all I wanted. This is how you treat me. Fair. Or the bombs? They are in my inventory. But it... Fine, I will bomb this. Alright, I will bomb this. If you want to, I will bomb this. Clearly, this is the way now. Alright, dudes. Let's do this shit. It's romantic for raccoons. <laughs> Let's go! Alright! Shit's on fire. Perfect. And zombies are also on fire. Come one, come all. Yeah, uh, I was I was surprised actually. Especially like we landed on an airport that was a bit outside of the city, and then we took a bus to the city that was like on a highway, and like the beside the highway there was surprisingly a lot of trash it's probably you know the the truth is it's probably not more than any other major city but but you know since like oh paris this romantic city and all that i probably had uh my expectations up too high you know you burned spiffos yet i think i did i don't quite remember but i think i did I can't see this rain uh, affecting this this burning stuff too well, huh? Anybody inside? There's some people inside. Okay, okay. Let's not tempt fate, shall we? If you guys are correct, parts and the good places beside for sure. I mean, it was still a very nice city. You know, Jesus, it's dark. Very, very nice city. Also, I just noticed we do not have a battery in our torch. Yeah, it's better. I can actually see stuff now. Have you ever played Judgment Apocalypse Survival? Yes. Yes, I have. I have played it quite a lot a couple of years ago, but it's been a while since that game was updated, I believe. Also, uh, Fallen Shogun has some good series on that uh, on that game. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I have a couple of Let's Plays on that game as well from like probably 2016 or something like that, ages ago. You speak six languages? Jesus, I do not speak French at all. So you are definitely much better. Than I am in that. <laughs> but yeah, Slavic languages are not the easiest to learn. Ooh, maintenance level up. Nice. That's impressive. Try not to step on fire challenge. Alright, sir. 
Stay. Good. All right. Well played. Well, listen to the emergency broadcast. It says massive storms like these are tropical storms. They say actual tropical storms? That's cool. Are we burning this place down? Uh, slightly. Not as much as one would hope. It is Kentucky. Yes, yes, it is. You are not wrong. I learned Russian. Impressive. That's impressive. I want to burn this place down as well. So, zombies, if you could please do that, that'd be great. The launcher map. Maybe we burn this uh, buffet as well. Come on, zombies, follow me. Since you're in fire, we can do this. It is a problem with languages. If you don't speak them for a, for a bit, you chances are you're gonna forget about it. You're gonna forget how to say stuff. Alright, uh, this is... Yeah, this is not smart. I'm not gonna go inside. I wanted to bring these zombies inside so that that place would burn. But I don't think that's smart. Because apparently there's still multiples over here. Maybe if I go around I can get them to bang on some windows or something like that. Yeah, I can do that. I speak German as well. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, Jesus. Zombies here. I can't see stuff. Uh, this was a bad idea. Hey, zombies. Hey, zombies. Okay. This is how I died. This is how I died. Just let me through. Ooh, boy. Don't do this at home. <laughs> that was uh, uh, slightly too dangerous. Slightly too dangerous. But this thing is now burning. That's all I wanted. Indeed, uh, Louisville Challenge was unfortunately doomed in that regard. Quite doomed. All right, uh, zombies, please burn and fall to the ground. Oh. There's still a lot of them that are not burning. Look, I never even wanted to fight here. Come on, zombies. Step on fire. And burn. Rain is not helping. What is that? What does that guy have in him? So dark. It's like a huge axe. <laughs> you thought I'm from Australia? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hello to Serbia to you too, my friend. Alright, alright, alright. I didn't want to fight you, zombies. You made me fight. And now you will perish. I kind of want that axe from her, but she's on fire, so... We're not getting that axe, unfortunately. Because of the poor accent. Ah, I see. I see. Are you sure you don't sound like that? I could try and get that axe, yes. But do I want to get that axe? How's our axe skills? Doing good. We, I like it that we have pretty much all combat skills now. It's good. It's always good. Also, I'm disappointed that this is not burning more. Should be burning a lot more. But I guess the rain is not helping the situation. Oh, hey. There's, there's more of you guys. Okay, I think at this point I'm just gonna leave. This is not where I want it to be. He found a micro and a spear stuck in a zombie? Yes, that is from a certain mod. Which I don't remember what it's called. Uh, I, I know that thing. It's, it's not a very good weapon, actually. Did I, left, did I leave my car on? 
I didn't leave my car on, but I left my lights on. That could be dangerous. You think uh, your accent is pretty plain? I'm... Now I'm sad. Now I'm sad that that's... If that's the truth. Alright, I think this is the place I want to loot. Is it? I think this is the car dealership thing, right? Think so. Alright, zombies. Let's get away from this place. Hey, Mobux, how's it going, buddy? Come on, friends. Let's do this together. Oh, I hope they're gonna hear, hear that. This time around, I am gonna turn off the lights. Come on, boys! Oh, we're actually chilly because we're wet. Um, we're gonna get sick, aren't we? This is gonna be slightly unfortunate. Now, I require a pipe bomb. I see there's some of them on fire there. What I'm doing here is pretty dangerous. Do not do this at home. Do not do this at home, because you're going to get trapped like I almost did there. Uh, these guys are not spread out nicely, as one would hope. Good, let's swing around. There you go. Ho -ho! All right, now we're talking. They're already setting themselves on fire. I don't even need a freaking bomb. Come on, boys. Jesus, there's a lot of them. Okay. Just throw the bump. Go. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was pretty damn good. We have a bit of a horde on our tail, my friends. Bit of a horde on our tail. How many uh, kills do we have right now? 1,350? Wonder how many this is gonna be. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Oh, you'll have to see it. Let's go around here. Sorry, I can't quite read the, the comments while I'm trying to make sure I don't die to these zombies. I went in the neighborhood on low population and felt like Louisville. Did it now? Ooh, look at them balling up there. Nice. Got a lot of videos. Took me a while to find judgment. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have almost like 7,000 videos, I think. I did look. See, I did it in 2018. Nice. Not even that far ago. Hey, Eli, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. You're not on fire. You should be on fire. My uh, spear's gonna break soon. Gotta keep that in mind. Look at these guys being confused, just standing out here in the rain. It's not good. Excuse me. Don't just stand around like that. I think the rain is kind of dying. Good. Could you burn this place to the ground as well, zombies? That'd be nice. I went to March Ridge. Ooh. March Ridge is... It's not the best map. It's, in fact, one of the... The worst maps, really. 
<laughs> Ooh, thread the needle, guys. Thread the needle. It's 7 in the morning there. It is... 30 minutes past 1 p.m. for uh, me over here. Let's, uh, let's grab a cigarette. Dude deserved it, you know. Cool guys don't look at explosions and all that stuff. Definitely burned this place to the ground quite nicely. Yes, burn! Burn! And let's maybe have a nice granola bar. Pretty good. Oh, oh, they, they went to die over there. Look at those guys. There's one dude on fire and they're just standing there. What's up with that? That is a shotgun on that police officer. It'd be kind of cool to have. They're gonna burn this place now. Which I'm okay with. Ooh, the lady with a shotgun is not on fire. Maybe we can loot this. Nice, nice. Try not to burn the lady with a shotgun, please. 9.30 p.m. there. Cool, cool, cool. No rain can put this fire up. <laughs> I, I would certainly hope so. I would certainly hope so. Drop it like it's hot. How's it going, Anne? Hey, Lucas. Are you in the same time zone? Sweet, dude. Sweet. Still a car exploding more. If a car is on fire, it will explode. Wow. That. How big is the explosion? How loud is the explosion? How much damage does it do? We already got 150 kills just walking around over here, by the way. <laughs> and we still have a couple of these guys on us. This thing still doesn't want to burn for some reason. Pretty big and very loud. My favorite. Does gunfire hurt PC, uh, cars in PC? No, not right now. There are some sound effects for it hitting cars, though. Oh, this is burning a bit. A bit, at least. Wow, what a kill. Through the window. Mm. This one over here could be a problem. Just don't step in fire and you're good. Still following, huh? I would hope you would go and try to destroy this place, but no. That's fine. It should. It might in the future. It's just not a thing yet. Ah, yes. Good old zomboids. My dude is still in extreme panic. See, seeing all these zombies. Is there a setting to make fire spread easier? I I'm not aware. There might be, but I'm I'm not sure. All right, we, we know what we have to do, right? We know what we have to do. Come on inside, boys. Let me kill you in here. Let's set this on fire. Really? You're going for the window. And he died outside. Come on. Burn. Good. Potato pancakes rotten. Hmm. Let's hope this is going to spread the fire. It's spreading the fire. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. There's still some on fire over there. It's fine. Oh, right, shotgun. True. It da damaged the window if you shoot it from the inside. Ah. 
But yes, vehicles truly are made out of paper, for sure. Uh, there's the shotgun right here somewhere. We already have some of these Mossbergs. I know we do. But right, we're gonna grab it. Why not? There's still some zombies up there. There's still quite a lot of zombies up there. Hmm. Let's go visit them slowly but surely. Uh, buffet there is on fire. And zombies are here. Is this really necessary, zombies? Set yourself on fire. There you go. That's the spirit. Don't set me on fire, though, please. Alright, Lime Lover. Thank you for being here, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a good rest of the day, my friend. Yeah, there are mods for uh, car body armor. I don't know if they're ever gonna add it in the game, but maybe, you know, with all the later game they're trying to add now, it, they might actually do something like that. Yeah, this is the place we wanted to be. Good. Let's kill these zombies over here. And then we're gonna go in here and hopefully find some tools. Or maybe you zombies were the tools all along. No, don't bring the fire. Oh, come on. Really? Now you're bringing the fire here? Well, it was nice knowing this garden fork. It was a good garden fork. Come on. Set yourself on fire. This guy is fearless. Maybe. You know, one could say stupid as well. It's, uh, it's very debatable. <laughs> uh, you come and join, you come and join. Oh yeah, we have a couple now. We have a nice drum circle, huh? I don't want to burn this place to the ground quite yet. So I guess we're gonna grab more of these dudes and set them on fire and we're gonna go conga line a bit more. Sure, why not? What could possibly go wrong? Just don't burn that, okay? That's all I'm asking. Hey, just a small group. Let's go grab the ones that are on highway as well. Do not go into that building, you. Don't you dare. It's not allowed. Sorry, raining again. All right, dudes, come on over here. Hey, 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 hey. Let's jam together, shall we? All right, those guys are still following. It's nice. Okay, looks like there's a couple more here as well, huh? <laughs> are we using the third pipe bomb? I wasn't planning to. Might have to. Have a good night, Peyton. Thanks for here for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, we can do this and avoid them all, and then uh, walk around like this, and that should grab the rest of them on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. They all be on fire now. They all be on fire. Nice little group. Nice little group. It's hard to be afraid of zombies when there's fire. Yeah, you have to be afraid of fire, not zombies. Oh, you know what? Uh, this is perfect time to grab our Mossberg and maybe do some like shooting practice. He is in extreme panic, so this is not going to be good, but still. Yeah, a couple of shots, might as well take it. Three more shots. 
More dots. More shots. Maybe it's fear of fire. <laughs> Zombies should fear fire by now. All right. The shotgun is now empty. Let's put it back here. Let's do a quick circle around. Clear it out some. <laughs> the fire is walking towards me, yes. Yes, it is. And the rain... The, the rain is not helping the situation. It's really hard to see anything. You know? It's really hard to actually see anything. Hey Sarge, how's it going? Uh, it's actually hard to see zombies as well. I don't like this. Okay, there's still a bunch of you that are not on fire. I don't know how I feel about this. I really don't know how I feel about this. You should have been on fire, guys. That was our... Uh, that's how what we agreed on, wasn't it? Come on. All right. Now set each other on fire. We still have one pipe bomb if you wanted to. Grab it. I don't think it's going to be needed. Let's just do another circle out here. We do have Desert Eagle. For some reason, the keybind for it doesn't work. I don't think we would actually hit anything with this deagle can try okay he almost burned me but we did hit him okay maybe this wasn't smart because now we have aggro some other guys all right well let's go together then let's burn together friends yeah it's time to loop around again <laughs> We all good. Come on, zombies. Imagine a survivor from their city right here. <laughs> yes, smells good. Do you think zombies would actually smell good? I kind of doubt that. I, I gotta admit, I kind of doubt that. Road back here is clear, which is nice. You know what? It is definitely efficient if you just use fire, because you don't really need to use that many resources. But it's it's pretty slow to kill them, which is unfortunate. You know, it's it's pretty slow. If I were just using guns, like I very often do, it might have been much faster. Come on, there's more over there. More over here. There's always more. Okay, that's a big group over here. What are you just guys just hanging around here? Whoa, come on. Look at these dudes. My guy really needs to get someplace warm. Because he's been out in the rain. He's chilly. A whole day. From 7 in the morning. Now it's 7 in the evening. He's been out here just walking in the rain. Amongst zombies. Uh, at least the road up here seems good. I still don't want to... I would prefer to go around here. But I don't want to because I don't want to burn this place. So let's maybe do a loop around like this. This should be fine. We good. Oh, we ran out of water as well, huh? Do you have a, another water bottle? We do not. Just eat some chips, dude. 
Enjoy some chips. These guys are taking their sweet time to burn. Maybe I'm going to just ditch them around over here. We go down this way for a sec. There shouldn't be many zombies here anymore <laughs> since we burned so much. We have burned like 300 today already. So, decent numbers. Oh, of course, there are still some that are not on fire. Oh, come on. Even more. That's fine. I'm just going to go around here, okay? You zombies want to come with me? That's fine. And I just want to go this way. And now we're getting drowsy. <sighs> Spend the whole day just burning them. Not even doing what I came here to do. That sounds like Project Zomboid to me, yeah? That sounds about right. Maybe we should... Retire back to the base. Get dry a bit. Oh, of course, all of you are here around my car. Why wouldn't you be? It's great. It's a lot around here still. Why? Where are you coming from? Since when is Moldra so full of crap? I don't get this. Since when is there so many zombies in Moldra just here? Oh well. That's fine. Let's take them for another spin around here. I'm not gonna waste my bomb right now the last of the three we have i'm gonna save it i'm gonna see if i can run for the car and get out of here there is one zombie next to the car let me take care of you there's another zombie next to the car i think we might need another circle and there's they're back. Come on. This is really not needed right now. I will burn you if I have to. You know that, right? I'm not doing any damage because we are drowsy and extreme panic. Ugh. You said the Z spawns to zero? I actually don't remember if I uh, turned the uh, respawn off. I do not actually remember. I might have. I have also might not. I probably didn't. Okay, that's one less. Let's deal with these five. And then we can go. Come on, just, just five. Just five, just four, just three. It's all good. Just deal with these. It's really wasting a bomb if it brings entertainment. Yeah, but I, the thing is, I don't want to burn this place down, right? Because I'm here to loot it. And I didn't really have the chance to loot it yet. Because these guys didn't let me. Well, I guess now we can go loot it. Alright, let's do this quickly. Uh, WD-40. Let's take that. This is probably a terrible idea, by the way. Screwdriver, don't need that. Oh, for fuck's sake, zombies. Look, look, look. No. Not right now. I was supposed to go away. Next year list on Zomboid? Uh, do you have an idea for next year list on Zomboid? You can tell me. Oh, there's a jack. Good. That's a good find. Let's... let's take that. We do have plenty of tarp. We don't need tarp. I don't know if we have a... Come on. Tire pump? So I'm gonna take it? It's really the only things we're getting from here, right? Yeah, okay. 
Let's go onwards. Uh, so this week on Friday, I have another RimWorld tier list coming out. As for uh, Project Zomboid, I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know. There's still a couple burning over here. That's fine. We'll let them burn. <laughs> Never seen so clean an empty mechanic workshop in my life. Good point. Very good point. It, I hope it at least smelled oily, like they always do. You thinking of something? All right. Sweet. Zombies, out of my way, please. Don't want to ruin my car. We need a wrench. This thing's still on fire. We need a wrench and... What else do we need? One more thing. And then we're good. We do have a screwdriver. Clearly we have not done enough burning yet over here. The highway is full. But that will be for tomorrow and hopefully this crazy rain is gonna go away. So is one mechanic that forgets to put down something to collect the engine oil in. Plus it stops the rust. Ah, see? Today I have learned. I'll be real with you, in real life I do not know much about mechanical stuff. At all. All I know is that in mechanic shops there's, it always smells of oil. Dark stains are in many places. And there's always multiple naked lady calendars on the walls. Those things always exist. Hey, home sweet home. Let's get some water, shall we? And let's fill the bottle. We are tired and packish and moist. Doubt... Did I hear a zombie? I did hear a zombie. Ah, is this how it is, huh? Where'd you come from? This is a uh, private property, sir. Please get away from here. Anybody else? You good? Alright, back to business. Smoke. Home sweet home, after creating a major arsony. Look, sometimes a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. They don't make the rules, it's just how it is. Uh, let's add the Mossberg to the other Mossbergs that we have. Now we have the tire pump and the jack, which I'm gonna put in here. These are gonna be our tools. And the WD-40 is going to go in here, maybe? Okay. Good. Only arson if he gets caught. <laughs> True. I am uh, innocent. Until proven guilty. You, you can't prove this. Let's have a beer. Let's eat some stuff. Still losing weight. Dangerous. Maybe I should eat more than just sweets and drink beer. Right? Might be a thing I have to do. Alright, uh, time to go to bed. It's almost midnight. The man's very tired and moist. Let's hope he doesn't get sick in the morning. That would be slightly unfortunate. Sleepy times. Let's go.
Good. That was a good 300 kills today. Well played. We do need to get a new weapon. It's still raining and now it's also foggy. Wow. I see how it is, game. I see how it is. Uh, can we make more pipe bombs? Mm, we don't have hairspray, do we? Oh, we can make makeshift radios. That's kind of cool. What do we have for weapons over here? Oh, we have a crowbar for two-handed weapon. That's pretty decent. I like crowbars. And then, uh, what do we have for ammo? We have some 12-gauge shotgun shells. Not much, though. Like, basically 18 shells. We do have four boxes of 308. But at this level, it's not very smart to use. We could use this Ruger M77. With that, we do have the crossbow, but only one bolt, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we only have one bolt. It would be nice to get more. I think for now, I will just take the crowbar with us. So we have an extra weapon. Mm. We... Don't really have much long blunt skill. We got up to two in maintenance. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Let's grab one water bottle extra. So we have a secondary if we need it. Let's eat some stuff. And then the question is, where do we go next? We could go... Maybe... Hmm. Do we have a sledgehammer? We found a sledgehammer, didn't we? Pretty sure we did, right? Did we find a sledgey? We do have a sledgehammer. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, where are? Oh, we do have an axe. Yeah, you know what? We're we're using the axe instead of crowbar. Right. Yeah, we're using the axe because we're better at axe. Hmm. We could go into that storage, you're correct. Let's grab the sledgehammer and maybe go there. We could do that, yeah. We, who knows what, it can, what we can get out of that place. How's the uh, generator looking? Oh. Good fuel, still. Turn it off for now. Finally stopped raining. Lucky for us. Oh, wait, we have two sledgehammers? Shit, we have two sledgehammers. I don't need this one with me then. That's a... It's a jolly day when you find two sledges. Let's go loot that self-storage and then we can burn that self-storage to the ground. That sounds like a plan. We still need a wrench and a log wrench. How's the car looking? Yeah, it's not... Oh, batteries, only 15%. 31 remaining. Ooh, that's, that's kind of bad. Poor Foss Oil. We really need to get our mechanics up, not just to repair cars, but also to... Uh, to be able to hotwire them. So we can, you know, have cars whenever we need them. All right, let's go to that self storage. Uh, I kind of want to go to McCoy's as well. We might go to McCoy's at some point as well. That'd be kind of cool. And you zombies are getting closer to my base over here, aren't you? We'll have to deal with these guys at some point. Like this was this was empty here before, huh? And now they return. They return in hordes. Silly hordes. The roads are supposed to be clean so the cars can drive. Did you not know that, zombies? 
Oh well. School is still on fire. Good. Oh, it's raining again. <laughs> Come on. This place is still on fire. All right. At least uh, the motel is no longer on fire. Good thing when you try to avoid a zombie and you hit two instead. It's my favorite, really. We should stop at the zippy market as well. Loot it a bit. Get some food. Maybe loot that as well. Who knows what we can find there. This place kind of burned down yesterday. Kind of. Uh, this is the entrance. All right. Well, let's put the axe to good use first, maybe. Let's put the axe to good use, I said. That's the spirit. Good use. Alright, uh, I should also... Well, first I'm gonna take these guys out. Then I'm gonna loot that metal plate. Because we did say we want to weld it on our uh, windows. And we still need, like, a couple of these metal plates to be able to do that. Right. Let's take care of anybody that might come over here. Not burning the place down yet. We're gonna save that bomb. Ooh, look at that. I think that's level 2 in access now. Sweet. Which means more damage. Come on. Why? Why do you still keep, keep on coming? If I burned them down, it would have been much better. Okay, please give me a sledge you. No, lady. None of this. <laughs> yet. Yet. I did say yet. And I mean yet. I mean it. Oh. My nose is itchy. It's, uh, it's not appropriate. You're correct. I should have dropped off my plate. What a... What kind of a door is this? I don't like it. Oh, that one is open. If you could kill zombies in there and get the key, we don't even need the sledgy. That would be sweet. Uh, there might not be any zombies around here anymore to kill in there, though. That is a big storage. Books. Oh, I don't remember which ones we have. And which ones we don't have. Let's take a shovel. Sure. Box of nails. Why not? Nail gun we already have. It's so strange seeing so much loot. Oh, it's a tent. No, actual tent. It's strange seeing so much loot after I have been playing with ridiculously rare loot. In the worm playthrough, worm man playthrough. It's uh, this feels like there's too much stuff. I would guess all of these are closed. Yeah. Yes, I could bait, but it's annoying because they're not there now. You know. I would have wished that they would be here. I thought I saw some over here earlier. Zombies? Anybody? I guess we might be using the sledge then. Why does it have to be a tropical rainstorm every day here, huh? This truly necessary. All right, what do we have? Um, there's my other metal sheet.
Let's take the duct tape. Why not? More nails. Oh, metal pipe. We can make another pipe bomb. That's good. I need a needle. Needle would be would be big. Metal bars could bars could be used for fights. For sure. Anybody in here? Snow shovel, hand side. We don't really need that. I will take the axes. So does anybody know if I were to add the ridiculously rare loot to this playthrough, how exactly would the loot work? I think it's it would affect all the loot in like cells where I have not been before, or does it work for any container that I have not looted before? If anybody knows, let me know. Definitely want the bottle. Because now that I have played without it, it feels like I'm just getting too much loot and it's making the game too easy. <laughs> hey, Bender. How's it going? Only unloaded cells. All right. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to see if I can bring these two zombies over there with me. Where's the other one? Oh well. Come with me. The other one did not want to join, that's fine. Okay, currently loaded ones would stay the same. Which would mean most of Moldra, but if we move to another city... We could uh, benefit from not having as much loot. Which would be kind of cool. Housekey! First try. Well, I'm not gonna say you love to see it, but you love to see it, really. They are removing the ability for you to do this, by the way, with the uh, house keys. You won't be able to bait zombies in there anymore they would have to be spawned in there for that to work which is unfortunate because this is a legit strategy but oh well cabbages i did say we're gonna plant some stuff fluffy food the bunny we're taking that thank you the more I play, the less loot and more sets I need to have fun. Yeah, basically. That's how it works. I don't think we need a saxophone. You know what? Let's go drop stuff into our car first. I'll never find keys, then as I tend to ball up zombies and then kill them, so I'll never find what key belongs where. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. It's it's gonna make getting into stuff tougher. For sure. But I guess they just don't want you abusing that mechanic too much. For some reason, I don't know why. I heard you, you know, lady? I definitely heard you. I 
You know what? Let's let's leave the car. It's fine. We can't bring him in there anyway. I mean, the thing is, like most players don't even know about that strategy, and it it makes you feel smart when you use that strategy, you know. So it's kind of a shame that they're removing him. But you're, you'll still be able to find keys, at least as long as there are actual zombies inside, you know? Let's grab this. That's it. What is this? I mean, I see spare engine parts, but this is a actual vehicle hood in here. Interesting. I do not know about the car keys. I do not know about that. I just know they were talking about that in a couple of uh, Thursdoids. What can we do with a cordless drill? Just disassemble it. Yes, that's what we're gonna do then. Car parts are good. Dog food. Let's grab this box so we can see what is in here. TV! I don't think we need a TV anymore. Let's place it down here. It would be realistic if zombies had car keys on them, yes, but it also would be realistic that you would have no idea which car it belonged to. You know, it would make uh, more sense if it was maybe for, I don't know, some cars that are far, far away because the zombies would move around, right? Yeah, I have seen it sometimes that the zombies near a car would have a key. Is there like a window somewhere over here? Or is this just no windows, huh? Ah, screw it. T-shirt. Armored door. Well, we got an armored door if anybody wants that. The wallet should have keys and other small stuff. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. All right, still need a wrench, don't we? I think there's another uh, bigger car thing further up the road, if I remember correctly. Just gonna go check quickly. Okay, there's one thing I need to fix. Um, is this in accessibility? Maybe it's, it's not in display. Is it in display? Ah, pan camera while driving. I don't want this. Sorry. I'm more used to it not panning the camera around. What does it say there? Mass Genfac and Co. We don't need this, I don't think. Oh, there's a cool car there. Really could use a wrench, boys. I can't believe we don't have it. All right, enjoy your class, my friend. Have a good time. Are we, are we far past the town now? Was that the last thing? I guess that was the last thing, wasn't it? Well, crap. Let's go back. Take care, Eli. It was good having you here.
Let's let's maybe go towards McCoy's. We can certainly find some good stuff over there. Or should I go? No, I'm not gonna go check in here. I can already see there's uh, crashed cars over there. Pretty sure this is not where we're supposed to be, but I'm... Oh, of course, there's crash cars here as well. Ah, screw it. <laughs> Let's not be here, then. Let's go burn something else. I think that's fine. We can go burn something else. The first road... Let's be fine. We're gonna take. I did wanna to loot this spiffles and such first, but oh well. We can loot this later. Let's go this way. It's an interesting colored car for sure. McCoy should be here somewhere ish, right? What does a crash car indicate? That a car has crashed? I think it's that way. I think we could have gone through here. It's fine. Oh, now I get stuck. Let's go around. You can sometimes, next to cr uh, crashed cars, you can find stuff like this event over here. There's an actual sledgehammer on the ground. That's insane. <laughs> that would be the third sledgehammer. But yeah, if you get lucky, actually, that car might have other tools. I'm gonna go check it out. Sometimes you're gonna get lucky and, uh, like, they were trying to repair something over here. And they left their sledgehammer behind. Which is insane. Um, yeah, getting very lucky with these. You can't believe that we have found more sledgehammers than we have found wrenches. Who would have thought? Wasn't there some more? No? Okay. It's fine. Toolbox... Doesn't have what we need. Fortunate. Leather gloves... We already have leather gloves. Still take them. I found two sledges at one of those sites. Had the lucky trade. Nice, dude. Very, very nice. Yeah, I have been pretty lucky with sledges lately as well. Which, for sure, is uh, because I have been pretty unlucky with sledges previously, so, you know. I totally deserve it now. Come on, trees. Why are you growing in the middle of the fucking road? Car, move. The zombies are coming. Okay, this is not the way. Let's go forward over here. Is that one passable there? Or are the trees growing in the middle of the road? I don't think that's what I want. Let's follow this. It's kind of hard to orientate myself when it's so rainy and dark constantly. Zombies chill. A car is gonna get stuck somewhere, isn't it? Oh, right there, right there, right there, right there. There you go. All right, we're good. We're good. Uh, and I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, maybe we're not good. Car, please. 
<laughs> Stop hitting these things. All right, that's better. Okay, dudes, let's do this outside of the rain. Better. We will definitely burn this place to the ground. How many days have passed? We are on day 13. We're day 13, we have killed 1,686 Zeds. Yeah, get me some good loot, not just planks. Dude, running to charge it back up. Our battery was pretty low, wasn't it? I should have left it running, actually. You're correct. Take the split next. Split next is a good. Well, if we needed planks, we could definitely get a bunch of planks over here. Maybe you should close the doors. That'd be smart. More planks, more planks. Saws, pipe wrench is not the one we want. Saw we already have, pipe wrench we already have. We need a normal wrench if we could find that one. Hello, uh... There. Please don't bother me here while I'm doing my stuff. Looks pretty empty though. Also, that looks pretty empty. Uh, I'm gonna grab the water. And let's dismantle the flashlight. Let's dismantle the radio. We're gonna get to level two electrical very soon. Which is pretty decent. Keep the batteries. We don't need the eraser. Let's go check if there's any zombies around. Should we stay the night here? We might stay the night here, actually. Just sleep in here. It's gonna be fine. His back's gonna hurt, but otherwise he's gonna be good. That's another split neck somewhere over there. Good. These split necks are huge damage for one-handed weapons, so. Hey, lug wrench! Okay, we got lug wrench. Now all we need is a normal wrench and we're good on tools that we want. Toilet zombies? No toilet zombies? No toilet zombies? We might sleep in a toilet or something. Oh, hello there. You guys coming in? Seems like you guys are coming in. Let's do this then. Spread out a bit. That'll be fine. And uh, let me tell you about my friend, the axe. Oh, wow. Breaking all the windows, are we now? Here, through this window. You got this. This window? It's uh, pretty broken. No? Okay. That one's got issues there, just moonwalking on the spot. Uh, sir? Are you okay? You're no longer okay. Hunt knife. Sure. Take that. It's funny that this guy didn't join up. And there's some moving around. Oh, now he's coming. Oh, Lord, he coming. Yeah, didn't think so. Let's see if they have some food. Rotten apples and peaches. Pop, sure. Let's drink that. Oh, hello. Anybody else in here? Somebody left the doors open. That's not very good. 
Let's make sure there's... There's no zombies around. Yeah, come on in. Let's finish this. There's another one coming there. Ooh. No, that's not what I wanted to do. House key? I don't think we need it, but we'll take it. Anybody else here? Seems pretty clean. There's one zombie just walking around there. Uh, we'll take... Actually, we'll take all of this. This can all be useful. And let's eat some chips for our dinner. Mmm, chips for dinner. Delicious. Oh, so nutritious. Anybody here? Looks pretty empty as well. I like it. Let's see the changing room. Sometimes you can find something good in here. Maybe a better bag. Their bag is not the best. Also no loot. That's okay. Fair, fine. It's okay. Let's go check the upstairs and then... Maybe we'll just grab a chair and we're gonna sleep in a chair. <laughs> we should have... We should have grabbed that tent kit. If I had that tent kit, we should have, we could have slept in a tent right now. What is the rain falling through here? Interesting. Soft drinks and a bag of chips for dinner. Yep. That's uh that's how it is once you're over 30, you know. I don't make the rules. Just how it is. Do we by any chance have a tent kit with us? No. Well, that's a shame. Uh, we don't need two water bottles. Let's drop this. I mean, we already have a sledge. Uh, the metro sheets, the lug wrench, the extra leather gloves, the hunting knife. Dog food we're not gonna eat. I don't think it's necessary. Do have another pop for food, which is great. Hey, Kibbs. How's it going, dude? Sneaking around before going to bed. Can't watch all the way. Ah, uh, fair enough. Hey, Hayden. Potatoes and vegetables is like a salad. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. This is clearly a salad. Clearly getting slammed by a hurricane. It's nasty in Florida right now. You know what? You're not the first person who said uh, that they're getting uh, slammed by a hurricane today, so stay safe, dude. Good luck. And I uh, hope all is, all is gonna be fine. We can sleep on these benches, right? Who doesn't want to sleep on a picnic table? We ruined it. Uh, don't we have anything else? I mean, we can sleep in a car. Yeah, we can just sleep in a car. Maybe better. We kind of want to sleep in the toilet. Toilets are often safe for sleeping. Make sure there's no Zeds here. The hurricanes can be powerful sometimes. So I hear. I have never experienced a hurricane or something like that. But I hear they can be pretty nasty. Yeah, I think we're gonna just sleep in a car. Should be fine. We can uh, read the farming magazine before we go to bed. Supplies the lights are still on. I'm surprised you're watching a stream while a hurricane might be happening. You know? Just saying. Maybe it would be safer to do 
literally anything else but to watch a stream. Read all the magazines. Drop magazines on the ground. Smoke one of the last cigarettes we have and then go to bed. We do have a wrench. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I, the only place where I forgot to check was my tool belt. Where we already have a wrench. Well, we have all the tools for uh, car mechanics now. So, that's good. Let's just, uh, let's just sleep. We're gonna loot this in the morning and then we're gonna go home. There's no hurricane, only Zul. Who or what is Zul? Count on Shogun to make it weird, right? With his Zul worshipping ways. Oh god, come on. Yoink! There's, oh, there's still a few. Time to burn. Time to burn. I knew you hated me. <laughs> uh, I knew you would betray me and not post uh, near Star Sector videos. So, there you go. We're burning this place down. This is gonna be dangerous. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, yes! Let's go. That's the spirit. Now, let's go out. Out and about. Let the McCoy burn. Let the bodies hit the floor. Tried your best. No, you didn't. You slacked off as always. Tried your best, my ass. I know you. I did recommend your uh, judgment videos to somebody earlier, so there you go. Now I'm gonna close this and let these guys burn inside. That was also our last pipe bomb, by the way. We're gonna have to make some new ones. That poor shot having to watch you. Those were the days when you, uh, you know, still made content. Instead of slacking, I, like now, I'm going to Scotland. Seriously. Slackers. How close are we to leveling this up? Very close. Just a bit more. Uh, why I don't see... Oh, this is on fire. Okay, I was like, why don't I see this on fire? But it is on fire, so... Good, good. Let it burn. Let McCoy's burn. I wanted to check this car. Might have some loot. Might be... Nice! A new axe! Yes! Sweet! Extra leather gloves are always useful. Fortunately, it's locked. But we can make it unlocked. Annotated map. Two of them? That's Louisville. Whoever finds this? I was Natalie Sigmundson, lecturer in art history at ICU. I'm already dead, but I have final request. This is only the end of the world if we allow it to be. We must secure the treasures in the art gallery, or we will be truly lost. Friends manage to gather a cache of weapons in a car near the gallery. Use them to clear it. Let no one say that humanity is lost forever. Well, now we know what our, what our end goal is. We're gonna get the into the art museum. 
This one is also in Louisville. Hey, bud, how's it going, dude? I can't play like this. Why not? Soul Street is dangerous. They got your son here. Oh boy. Come to us. It's safe now. We're going to head south. Please come with us. I'm guessing they. I mean, they made it somewhere. If this map is here, they made it to Moldra and now they're dying. Oh well. Set the museum on fire for memes. Oh hell yes. But first we save the art. Or do we burn the art? Uh, we can we can still agree or disagree on that one, you know? Burn the art or save the art. We can talk about this. Mm, I'm actually not gonna stay here. We're gonna go home. Yeah, we're gonna go home. We can always come back to this. We're gonna go home and we're gonna start learning all about mechanics. I think that is the next goal that we wanna do. Start mechanics leveling up. We're gonna we're gonna do some work on our base. How about that guys? Shall we do some work on our base? Burning aid the museum. <laughs> This is where we found our third sledgehammer. You'll love to see it. Out of the way, zombies. This car is already ruined enough. Go away, go, go away, go away. Looks like there's still plenty of zombies around here, even though this is where we did like a big burn previously. But you know what? Uh, clearly we do have respawns on, so... They are happily ever after coming back here and respawning. Yeah, work on the base. There you go. This is still on fire. <laughs> the thing is, if you're not in the cell where the fire is happening, the fire doesn't actually burn. So even if I set like a hundred zombies on fire and then I draw away, those hundred zombies would still be on fire when I came back there like a month later. They would not die. So, you know, you have to be careful with how you do your fires. Now that McCoy's building is going to be on fire for a while now. I mean, those guys that came over there, it is re redistribution. They're not respawning here because we're driving here every day. Uh, but they are definitely, you know, spawning around and then coming into the cell. You're close to my home. This is not allowed. Not allowed at all. Excuse me. Go in here. There you go. Honey, I'm home. Oh, we have somebody over there. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go do a perimeter check quickly. I suspect you won't like the title of the stream. The intentional typo saves it. Did I make a typo? I did. Wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix it now. I'm gonna fix it now. There you go. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fix it. Perfect. Not even an issue. Thank you, ESD. Appreciate uh that. Appreciate you worrying about what YouTube might think about my streams. I will look down here. Good? Good. Look, if YouTube hates it, that just means another reason that we should go to Twitch, right? And do some more streaming on Twitch again. Clearly.
No, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. It's all good. Okay, now we have a fluffy food, the bunny, that we need to take. I want... Actually, give me all of these metal sheets. Or maybe four. Four will do. Isn't it the exact other way around right now with people ditching Twitch for YouTube streaming? That is correct. People are twitch uh, twitching. <laughs> They're ditching uh, Twitch for for YouTubes. Yes, very correct. But most of those people who are doing that are Twitch streamers primarily, right? I have primarily always been a YouTube person who made YouTube videos and then streaming was just a side thing, right? And for me, it is still better to just make videos because videos are gonna get more views than the extra streams that I do. And because you have to be so much more careful with how you do streams on YouTube, you know, it's, it might be it might be for the best if I go back to Twitch and because I just you know in my streams I usually just want to chill. I don't really want to do nothing special. I just want to chill with the people. Twitch is dying. I mean yeah, that's that's the general consensus. It's not exactly dying. They're just shooting themselves in the ass constantly. You know, basically what it is. There you go. No more windows. Who needs windows? Let us... No, 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 not that, not that, not that. Uh, wrong, wrong button. I want to add a sheet over here. If I need to, I can drop the sheet down. Love to see it. And we have some back entrances over here that I do not trust. So... Let's barricade the doors. Better. And let's barricade this door as well. Lock it first. Perfect. Barricade it. Prefer YouTube to Twitch, but YouTube seriously needs more competition. I I don't know where that competition can even come from because YouTube has such an advantage. You know, it being part of Google and really pretty much all search results going directly into YouTube. I, I can't see who could challenge it right now at all. Uh, YouTube is definitely cashing up when it comes to uh, streaming, for sure. Double barricade on this one. Perfect. Well, there we have a video hosting Monopoly it means you don't need like five accounts for different sites. Yeah, I mean, it is good, but it's also not good, you know. It's better for viewers. It might not be so good for uh, actual creators. Know how it looks like the metal plates are bolted in. True. Yeah, it looks like he used four bolts. Like on uh, on YouTube, the uh, it's it's easier to make money than on Twitch after you get to the point where you can actually make money, right? But you have to get that point, and it's it might take a while before you can earn anything at all. While on Twitch, you can really start earning right from the start. So that's that's the difference, but you you know probably you're not gonna earn much on YouTube. It's way bigger snowball effects probably. I should start a company that does videos and maybe streams. Give it a catch name. I should call it Meta. <laughs> yes, you should do that. You would be the first who have thought of such a thing. That'd be that'd be great. Please please do. 
I'm sure there would be no copy uh, copyright strikes, anything like that. Monopoly is a complicated thing. It's too much power in one entity, which is great if the entity benefits everyone, but history says otherwise. It, there you go. Exactly how it is. Monopoly really never benefited the users. But oh well. Both just hold it up while you weld. Hey, there you go. Smart. Very smart. Alright, we have the lug wrench, we have the wrench, now we need a jack, and we're good. And jack should be in here. Jack should be in here. Where is the jack? Excuse me? Um, where's the jack? Did I already put it back here? Please don't. What? Where the fuck is the jack? Am I going crazy? Toolbox. Oh my god. Toolbox. Jesus. Ah, thank you. Thank you. I, I am going crazy. Maybe I should stop streaming. Clearly it's, uh, it's not going so well. You talked enough nerd stuff for now? There's never enough nerd stuff. What do you mean? You do that all the time? Yeah. Don't we all? I'm gonna bring these cars closer so we can uh, work on them. Nerd stuff is... Interesting to me as you can imagine since you know the YouTube and Twitch stuff is kind of what I do Clearly next thing I need to do is uh, TikTok, right? Everybody knows that's uh, where the young kids are these days Right, let's bring the the other car as well and then we're gonna have a nice car park that we can work on hello i would like you as well this this looks like a freaking pristine car do we ever get in here this one is almost like a shame to work on because it's probably Full on green. It's pretty green. Trunk lid is not so good. Gas tank is not so good. Battery is empty. Yeah, I mean, just just grab it. Screw it. Fossil oil is our car. Gonna just keep on fixing that one until it dies completely. Let's bring this one here. I know it's gonna annoy me because it's not parked properly, but it's fine. It would be nice if we were not in such an open area because you never know when there's like a zombie coming around. Alas. I don't think uh, we're quite ready to go make a fence. Although we could, we have the resources now. And we do have level 4 carpentry. Do we have a third book in carpentry? If we do, that'd be amazing to read that. Uh, there's electrician books. We do have uh, carpentry volume 3. Reading this would be actually great. We do have mechanics volume 3. Do we have mechanics 2? We do have mechanics 2. Awesome. So we want to get uh, mechanics to level two. We don't have mechanics one, but we do have, we did start with it. So we do have a bit of an XP boost. But once we get this to two, then we can read the book. 
I'm always at work when you stream. I can get on YouTube here, but not Twitch. So I'll be able to watch your streams. It's all good. Still catch the streams on your VOTS channel. Yes, that's that's how it would be. Uh, it would go to my VOTS channel. It's, it's not confirmed that that's what I'm going to do. But I've been thinking about it because it seems like that viewers here on YouTube still prefer to just watch my videos mostly instead of my streams, you know. That's the that's the main reason. All right, let's do some mechanic stuff. It's exciting. And maybe start with this car. I hope we actually know how to work the heavy duty cars. I don't even know. <laughs> we might not be able to. All right, start with uninstalling driver seats. Sure. Why not? And then installing the driver seats. This is going to be a long day. But we're going to make it happen. Look at all that sweet XP. <laughs> uh. Frick. It would have been nice if you could just watch a video. Do we have a... Hey. We did have the carpentry videos. Do we maybe have a mechanics video as well? I'm gonna have to go check that right now. You say you love to see it too much in streams? I say uh, you love to see it too much in videos as well. But in videos, I added those videos later. And I cut it out <laughs> so you don't get to hear it as much in videos you know we have cook show and exposure survival okay throw them in low risk jobs that are easy pretty much uninstall the seats reinstall the seats monopoly's power and power corrupts no ex exception Kind of have to agree. Uh, this is not the car we were working on before. And this one is very green as well. Wow. I like it. Uh, radio. Uninstall. Listen to the radio. Uh, let's reinstall the radio. Then we're going to uninstall it again. Not get any XP for it. But we're going to then dismantle it. To get the electrician XP. Which you do love to see. Keep the battery. Alright. Uh, let's go uninstall the battery. Next. We're gonna go... Not go for muffler. Can't do anything but heater. Let's do... Tires first? Sure. This is the tires. Just like Hoka discovering the power of fire, now he's gonna Operation Scorch Earth. I'm going Operation Mechanics. Can't you see? Do you want to do brakes yet? I don't think we want to do brakes yet. Just install the tires for now. Although it, it would be smart to do the brakes. Doesn't matter if they break. They're brakes, right? Sure, let's go brakes. Even more XP that way. Until they fully break. <laughs> hey. Nice. Please install this. Yes. Good job. And now you can... And we can do the suspension as well. Is the percentage of this? 50% as well? Sure. I don't think this battery would fit into that vehicle. Which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Because this is, uh, I think my vehicle is heavy duty, right? This one is not heavy duty. Hey, look at this. We're like one third of the way already. Uh, let's do the this tire down uh, again. 
and then let's work on the brakes. But the, the battery from these two vehicles would be fitting in there, but I think they're both empty, so can't really use that. Come on, you got this. You got this. We will ruin this car. <laughs> we will ruin it greatly. Hey, nice. Suspensions as well. The more time we fail, the more times we get XP. And this time we didn't fail. We're also hurting from uh, heavy duty stuff. We also should eat something. We have nothing to eat on us. We should not eat something right now. We can eat later. Drop it in the ground. Let's do the brakes next. Hey Chucky, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Wow, that was easy. Those 50-50 uh, shots are not quite like XCOM. I have said it too fast, haven't I? Too soon, Executus. You have awakened me too soon. Alright, let's do the last one. Look at this, halfway there, and we are not even finished with the first car. Beautiful, beautiful, the XP boost is huge, and then for the next ones we can actually read the books, which is going to be even better. So we can get up to level 6 really fast, and then we can really start fixing our cars. Can't wait. This fossil car is gonna be the best car ever. We shall never replace it. And yoink, okay. Look at that. Why are you drowsy already? Come on. Don't be like that. Trunk lid. 50-50 to uninstall it. Let's go. He has failed. What a surprise. He has succeeded. Even bigger... So please install this. Even bigger surprise. He's got this. Yes, nice. Uh, rear windshield, that's probably... Yeah, that's 20%. We're not going to go for 20%. Let's go and install the hood. First try, dude, we're gonna definitely need a new hood for our current car because it's probably not feeling so good anymore. We hit some trees previously. There you go, works. 127 XP, awesome. What's the windows, 50-50? Let's go windows. Try not to break it. Wow, we succeeded the first try. Amazing. All right. We're not going to do doors because I think doors are more problematic. And it, I mean, if we just fail a couple more times, we're going to level up. Easy money. And of course, if we succeed a couple more times, also good. All right, let's do this window. Yeah, we're getting this. We are 100% getting this. Like one more thing, maybe two more things. Just succeed once with this window and we're good. Look at that, level two mechanics. Now we can actually hotwire cars. Oh boy, easy money. Doesn't even matter if you're drowsy or hungry now. Life's good. Let's just finish fixing this car with the headlights. So we get the full XP from this one today. And install the light bulbs. Tail lights as well. 
And yoink. All right. Awesome. That car complete. Yeah, for uh, hot wiring cars, you need level 2 mechanics and level 1 electrical. So both of these, which we now have. Both. So we're good. Almost level 2 electrical as well. I'm just going to need to maybe disassemble some more electrical things and then we're good. Maybe some radios. I could disassemble radios in here. We don't really need them. Do we? Uh, wow, this one. Look at how green this bad boy is. Whew. Where's my radio? If I dismantle this one. Getting closer. If I dismantle this one, we should make it. Good morning for mechanics training. Probably not ideal for a streamer video, but great for a uh, personal run. Which one? Let's grab this. We only we need less than two points. Hey, level two electrical as well. Awesome. Yeah, these ones are heavy duty. This one I know has an empty battery. This one might not. Level six mechanics you need for engine repairs. You know, that's that's the one. Uh, right, battery. This one, I, I should just grab this car because it's just better. Just hot wire it. This car is just good quality. Like better quality than what we have on our other one. Definitely a good car to have. Okay, let's uh, let's feed our boy a bit. I think that would be appropriate. He needs to eat. And then he needs to read all the books that he could read. Right, food is something we need to fix. <laughs> We're still losing weight, that's bad. Who would have thought that eating... Uh, hey, maybe eat some dog food. Dog food should be good, right? Minus, I mean, plus 50 on happiness is pretty big. What if we cook it? Maybe the cooked dog food is gonna be better. Here we have griddle pan. Can we make something with it? We can make stir fry from jerky. We can make stir fry from dog food. We'll see you soon. Is it not cooking? I guess you can't cook dog food, huh? Never mind. Can't. Do that. Uh, I'll just eat half of it. 25 unhappiness. Yeah, it's fine. Just feeling a little sad. Not even a problem. We're gonna make a uh, stir fry from beef jerky now. And we're gonna feel much better about that. That's all we have oil. Dude. We can add oil to it. We can add hot sauce and then we can add some more beef jerky and that thing you know is 17 on happiness think about it if you won't eat the dog food yourself how could you give it to your dog <laughs> i like the way you think nice can only heat dog food thing can be added to rest is it's good to stabilize weight. And that's what we need to do. We need to stabilize weight. We're down to 75 weight? Oh, that's that's bad. That is bad. Let's get this beef jerky with hot sauce cooked though. Tired and anxious. Just uh smoke a cigarette. We really need to find more cigarettes. We are down to eleven now. 
My dog eats the same kind of stuff as me besides bones because she just crushes them. I cannot do that. Well, not with that attitude, you cannot. <laughs> just apply yourself and you too can crush the bones like your dog. I believe in you. You got this. I bet you don't work that hard on a meal for yourself. Very true. Very, very true. Yeah, I have plenty of hot sauce. Let's eat this gum as well. Nom nom. Come on, you, you got this. Cook up, cook up. Somebody's shooting out there, that's fine. Alright, turn off. 26 hunger, we're gonna just eat it all. We need to start regaining some weight. We need to st we need to find food and cigarettes, that's our next two things we need to do. Yeah, look at that, full to bursting. That will do it. Let's drink a can of beer as well, and then we go to bed. Then we go to bed. Full of bursting, tired, that's fine. It was a good day. Good day. Maybe you should grab that soap and clean ourselves a bit. All right, there's no more water over here. Any more water here? There is no water here, all right. Okay, sleep. Let's go. One story, if you're cooking for yourself, it's to live, not to be fancy. Very true. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Food, cigarettes, and beer. This is getting too meta. Look, I don't make the rules, it's how it is. I do not make the rules. Uh, let's not drop the soap. It's not a prison. Right, now where can we find some more food, is the question. Before we find some more uh, food... We should... Maybe make some fiery bombs? Shall we? Some fiery bombs? Uh, we have the gunpowder over here. And I'm pretty sure we should have more pipes. Maybe in the car still. We have some metal bars here. You get a bunch of NPC survivors to help you with the museum and then log them in and burn them. <laughs> I'm not using the NPC survivor mod with this one. But I guess maybe we could add it potentially. Maybe. Right. Uh, let's see. Pipe bomb. Uh, we need a saw, don't we? Metal, not a prison. Metal plates all over the windows. Angry visitors outside your cell. It's debatable, okay? Still not a prison. There you go. Let's make a pipe bomb. You love to see it. Is one going to be enough? Well, we can only make one. Can we make anything else right now? Uh, we don't have lunch boxes. We could make a light bulb bomb, but it's not the greatest. And we do not have any metal pipes. We could try getting some more metal pipes. Right? If you use a sledgehammer on a metal fence, it should drop some metal pipes, correct? Pretty sure it should. Add it to you when you enter the cities? I don't know. Maybe. For now, I'm gonna go with maybe. The water does it? Hmm. The sledge you wouldn't? Uh, you know what, the best thing we can do is try. 
We do have Propane Torch and, uh, well, there's Mask. I guess we can do that. And there should be a Sledgehammer in here. There he is. Actually, let's today... No, let's take this card, it's fine. Let's turn this off before I forget. Car still works, which is the most important thing ever. Uh, no, no, zombies allowed near my home, sorry. Them's the rules. There you go. Let's go over here to the police station. There should be some metal fences there left. Need me to ask something? Sure. What's up, Xavier? What do you wanna what do you wanna ask? Looks like uh, this place is repopulating slightly. Sure, let's dismantle some of these. Uh, let's kill these three zombies and then we're gonna go sledge that thing. Ah, you want me to axe the zombie something? Okay. Sorry, I ruined your joke there. I was, uh... Half paying attention to what's happening on the screen and half paying attention to what you were axing me. Their Fallout style raider mod that lets you build things out of bodies? I don't know. There might be. But I am not sure. Just an old man who's been drinking too late this night. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't know if uh, like this small fence is going to be good enough. It might be the tall fence. It's not leaving anything. I don't think this is going to actually leave anything behind. Because you just basically destroy everything, right? And... I don't think I can... I don't think I can use the propane torch to destroy it. Yeah, let's let's go find some bigger fences, some taller fences. I think there should be some if you go this way. There should always also be a bunch of zombies probably respawning down this way because we haven't been here in a couple of days. What day are we on now? Day 15! Let's go. There's some storage units here that I think have that tall fence. Who put these cars here? Who put this here? Looks like somebody burned some stuff over here, huh? Oh yeah, the zombies are definitely back. Oh, the zombies are definitely back. Wait, this is not a tall fence either. Hmm. We can take that police car now. Damn, there's a lot of zombies respawning here. There it is. This fence we can try on. This is storage area, right? Oh, the zombies are gonna destroy that and that's gonna give us some good loot. When the zombies destroy stuff, they will definitely drop resources. Now, I would like to have this pipe bomb. I only have one, so we have to be careful with it.
Make it boom. Make it go boom. Let's go. Come, zombies. I'm not afeard of you. Now start spraying, spreading. Wait, no zombies are on fire? Okay, no, there's like one zombie on fire. That's kind of crappy. Okay, okay, they're spreading fire now. Good, 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 good. Ugh! Spread the fire, boys. Spread the love. You got this. Come on. Burn each other. Kind of disappointing that the... Oh! <laughs> the fire is so low, but okay. Fire mine on fire? Yeah, those clothes are not doing their job, are they? You guys suck at spreading the fire today. What's up with that? Ah, yeah, that's better. There you go. These guys know how it's done. Good, good. Keep it burning. I think it's like when they fall over the fence there, that's like the perfect timing to... To set each other on fire. And this house is definitely on fire as well. Sweet cleansing fire indeed. Yeah, look at that. Those guys broke stuff over there. That's definitely going to be some useful resources for us. Some uh, pipes and such. Spread the fire. Come on. You got this. Good. Bunch up. Spread it. Let's go around this house as well. Make sure this house burns as well. We only brought one firebomb, so we have to put it to good use, you know, to burn everything that is around here. Gotta put it to good use. There you go. Don't burn my car, though. Not allowed. Hey, Noodle Soap, how's it going, dude? How's my Rimworld series going? Yeah, you did not miss the finale. It's not done yet. It's still got a couple of episodes to go, for sure. Before I'm gonna be satisfied with what we've done. And uh, how it's looking. Like a cheap stripper spread it? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why would you say that? Worst case scenario, you can use campfires? True. We could. Oh, this is a soldier on fire there. Kinda cool. I see a couple more dudes over here. Let's, uh, let's go together. Oh, these guys are dying now. Don't want to burn the fence. I'm okay with just burning the, the house down. That guy's just standing on fire there. Like fine butter spread it. No, I mean, I kind of like the, the way you, you said it earlier. It was uh, very appropriate. Oh, this, this house, it's something happened to it. I don't know what. But it's not doing so good. Why do I not have any food with me? Stupid move. Come on, let's do another circle. More dying here. Good, good. Burn. Maybe go around this house as well. Spread the fire, spread the love. You know. I see you, though. You tried to trap me. Jump. 
Now would be the time to jump. <laughs> Emergency house raid for food. Yes, that would be smart, but probably not while I have uh, zombies on fire following me right Probably for the best if I don't do that Hello anybody home I will steal your food Don't shove the zombie that's on fire. That seems like a terrible idea. Zombie is on fire. I repeat, the zombie is on fire. He managed to burn that that window. And now he's coming after me. What a deal though. Okay, don't burn yourself. Well, let's go around a bit more. Turn the Z's pockets for some hot pockets. These hot pockets are the best. Fresh, one could say. Very fresh. How is that fire not spreading? Ah, oh, there you go. That's the spirit. That's... You know what? You can stay in there. I'm gonna go loot this house. Report, the zombies are on fire. Roger that. Only the zombies? Look at the burning city. Yes, only the zombies. This is fine. Uh, there seems to be somebody in here. Let's go say hello to them. Hello, hello. Did I disturb you, sir? I'm sorry. I did not intend to burn down the whole uh, place. Or maybe I did. Now, you got any food for me? A dish towel. Amazing. Hey, we got something that we are not allowed to say on stream. A bunch of rotten stuff. Awesome. Good food. Two fanny packs over here. Don't want it. Worker jacket. What is our uh what are we wearing right now? I think we are even wearing a jacket, are we? We are wearing a blue tactical jacket. Well, apparently this one is better. Interesting look. I'm not sure if I like it, but sure, let's go with it. Check the dish towel in the oven. Why would I do that? It's almost like you're saying I'm a pyromaniac or something. Oh, of course rain starts. Of course it does. Let me help you, lady. Happy to help. I hear somebody on the window. Ah! Multiple somebodies. I repeat, multiple somebodies. And you couldn't join us earlier when we were uh, doing a barbecue, huh? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I didn't want to loot this place anyway. Put light bulbs in the microwaves? But there's no power, we can't turn it on, you know? We can't just turn it on if we wanted to. That's a sad thing. Who, put, who puts chain in garbage? It's kind of weird. Anybody else coming after me? No. Alright, let's go in here. Portable fire starting generator. It's called a pipe bomb. Jerky. We'll take the jerky. We can make a stir fry with that. We'll see what we haven't burned in these two houses. It's already 8 a.m. Wow, that's... Is that early or is that late? 
<laughs> Have fun, buddy. I appreciate you being here, dude. Take care. Hey, not the whole kitchen burned. There's still a frying pan in here. Awesome. Cooking one? I don't think we're gonna take that. How long would a pie bomb last in the microwave? Well, we can try that in our own uh, house. We do have a microwave. And a way to make pie bombs. There's the kitchen. Rotten food? Yeah. So no food at all. Okay, let's get the, the pipe bomb stuff. It's right there where we want it. I see zombies have produced plenty for us, like four. Oh, these are metal bars. Wait, how are these metal bars? They look like a pipe. Okay, so two pipes and three metal bars. Fortunately, we don't need all of that. Let's let's see. If you destroy, do we get something out of it? We did not get anything out of it. Maybe some pipe bombs. Hello, stack. How's it going? So, can we use the propane torch and uh, welder's mask? To deconstruct these or not? We can't, right? Oh. Now we can. Over there we couldn't for some reason. Wow, this is gonna take a while. It's probably gonna use a lot of... Uh, torch fuel. Well. Guess we need to just click properly. Okay, this is annoying. We have 10% chance to disassemble it or 10% chance to produce something. It works, it's slow, but it works. Let's try this one as well. Yeah, okay. You know what? Probably not worth it. We did get two uh, pipe things, though. So that's fine. And please no longer wear the Willer's mask. This is the look I prefer. No, I don't regret sharing it. Why would you regret sharing it? Okay, zombies, hello. Just give me a sec, I need to smoke and then we can fight again. I mean, it's a... It's a way to get the resources. I am probably too bad of a metal worker to be able to get the resources, you know? With a better metal working skill, I probably would be able to do some stuff. And get a bit more. Alas. Probably don't need to dismantle these anymore until I read the books. Stag is so much more than just that, by the way. Never trust the man. Even if he mails you pie bombs. Alright, do we have one of them open? Uh, the lady is destroying one of those, so... We can hope that she destroys it and we can get a key from her. So we're gonna give her peace and quiet. Oh, cigarettes! Let's go! That is such a huge find. You'll love to see it. I mean, we do have a sledgehammer, so we could use a sledgehammer. But getting a key would be much better, you know? She is gonna probably gonna take a while to destroy it. Alright, take care, Hayden. Thank you for being here, appreciate it. I'm probably not gonna stream for too long anymore anyway. 
But yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill you. I'm gonna sledge this. Sorry. Oh, there was somebody else breaking this. What's up with the... I can't see. Why can I not see? Yeah, that one is moving. I should have maybe have left them to do this. I'm gonna exhaust myself wielding this thing, huh? This might get me killed. Of course you were right there. Of course you were right there. Come on inside. And give me that key. Come on. Key, please. Excuse me. <laughs> she did give me the key. Oh my god. A man is lucky. Oh, green paint. I needed green paint uh, to make a poncho. Now all we need is a needle. And we need to level up our tailoring a bit. And then we can make a poncho. At last. What is that luck? I don't know. It's streamer's luck, you know? Sure you've heard of it before. Uh, I do want the compost bag, please. Give me the glue. What's here? Sweater. Sounds like there's some zombies in there. Couple of doors? Yeah, two doors. Just here. Let's go say hello to this one as well. Alright. Easy money. Uh, we actually do want more metal sheets, so I'm gonna take this. Fertilizer. Uh, you know what? If we're gonna really plant something on our roof, we're gonna need fertilizer. Can you drink the paint? I don't think so. Also, I would rather not try. That's more fertilizer. Well, now we know what to do. It's farming time. Painkillers, sure, let's take that. Ah, uh, wish those were better. Oh, scarf! Hey, I'm wearing a scarf, hell yeah. I don't think we need a winter coat, though. Scarves are great. For that sweet neck protection. Mechanics volume 1. Well, I don't need that anymore. Ooh, that's a second Jenny. That is big. Shall we bring the second Jenny with us? Yeah, might as well. Let's bring this home. A good find. That was a good find. Those zombies, let them sit there. We should probably go check that storage as well. We really need to feed this poor guy. Yeah, it's always good to have multiple generators, especially if you want them in multiple places. Usually I always want two, one for gas station and one for uh, my own home, but now my own home is also a gas station, so. Let's drop this here. And let's drop fertilizer and the other fertilizer. 
compost bag and this and that and this and that and the other scarf we got some good stuff out of this you know probably don't need to have the light on all right let's go quickly check this place just five zombies to kill and we check this hopefully find something good and then we go home and then we'll uh, finish the stroom don't know if you're gonna need a sledgehammer for this or not is this unlocked it's not all right you four first don't make me laugh one down you're a bit too close two down three down four down and the last but not the least or maybe the least who the fuck knows the weird pants guy he's wearing a straps bra i don't know how to feel about that But okay. We don't need a sledge for this. Wait, there's windows. Let's go through a window rather. That's better. Clark storage. I wonder where Clark is now, nowadays. What Clark's doing with his life. Oh, this is a great way to get yoinked. Looks like it's empty. If you're going to die to zombies, I guess dial doing your kink. Yeah, why not? Why not? Like, who am I to judge, right? Toilet paper. TP for my bunghole. I need the mugs. I need the notebooks. Let's go search this. Cabot seeds, you know what? Next time we do some farming. 100%. Another metal sheet? Yes, yes. We're gonna become the full on metal worker with all these metal sheets. Charcoal? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need charcoal. It's a, it's a useful way though to uh, cook stuff. Charcoal lasts quite a long time as well, I think. Not gonna move boxes, by the way. If we can find something useful in these, it's good. If you can't, oh well. Lots of these are empty. All of these are empty. Tarp, we have plenty of tarp, we don't need more. Pickaxe! Now that is a lovely thing. Oh, dude. An empty box warehouse, but we got ourselves a pickaxe, dude. Pickaxe is huge. Deals a lot of damage. And we are kind of going the Axemen way, so having a pickaxe is going to be perfect. It lasts a long time as well. So that's even better. There is it. Yes. Yes. Put this here. Look at us now. Yoink! You never found it? I mean, it is... I'm pretty sure... Like, build 41 edition, and it is build 41 edition in, like, the last year. But since then, I have found it a few times. Wow, these guys are grouping up like crazy. Do you have, a like, a backpack dude amongst them? Usually when you see big groups like that, they have, like, a backpack dude. Doesn't look like it. What X-Men uses a pickaxe? Uh, is this a trick question? 
I, I have no idea. Hello, Pud. Welcome back, dude. Try not to hit the car challenge. All right. We really need to do more stuff around our base next. So, we can make two pipe bombs now, which is good. And then next thing we want to do is farming on the roof. And we want to read the books for mechanics, for like electrical, and for mechanic uh, for carpentry as well. So plenty of things to do. Excuse me. Turn off the car, not the other thing. All right, good. I'm going the X Men path. Am I? I don't know, dude. You tell me. Uh, let's go get some food. Maybe. Turn on this thing first. First things first. Dog food. Yoink on that. Second thing, let's make beef jerky uh, stir fry. How's our cooking skill? Abysmal. We're gonna need to make it better. Add some oil. Add some hot sauce. And add some more beef jerky. Once we start planting stuff on our roof, Dude, it's gonna be so much better. We're gonna we're gonna be able to add some veggies to this stir fry. Can't mess up a beef jerky. <laughs> nope. Nope, you can't. Uh, let's grab the saw and let's make those saw. Thank you. Let's make those pipe bombs. Pipe bombs? Pipe bombs. Never underestimate people's ability to mess up cooking. Yeah, you know it happens. Even to the best of us. I messed up boiled eggs the other day. I mean, how do you mess that up? Do you just forget about them and go do something else and then come back like two hours later? I don't know. Friend has had two minute noodles catch fire and likes his cooking medium. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you like this, is this is the thing you forget that you're cooking something and you go play a game. And then you realize that half your place is on fire. That's how this happens. Having instant noodles catch fire is more of an achievement than nothing else. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, you took them out too soon. Could you not just put them back? Oh, I guess you opened them, so. There's that. Let's have a nice can of beer first. That beer is still holding us up, you know? Can of beer and then the stir fry is gonna be nom nom. Dope. It's raining like hell again. Let's eat this whole thing because we are still losing weight. Really not taking care of this dude of mine, huh? Full to bursting though, so hopefully that's gonna help. Can we drink another beer? Yeah, it's gonna make us tired, but that's fine. It's almost midnight anyway. It's so not even a problem. Our dude is tipsy pretty much every night. It's perfect. Perfect. I tried, but it's still too soon. Ah, oh, fair. Fair, fair. All right, let's get the dude sleeping, shall we? And with the dude sleeping and hopefully surviving, 
I think it's time I say uh, thank you boys for being here with me in stream today. It was fun. And uh, if you like Project Zomboid, tomorrow continues the adventures of Worm Man. If you want to see and learn more about that guy, it's gonna be there. And maybe next week we're gonna be streaming this, this thing on Twitch. We'll see. I haven't quite decided yet. For now though, thank you boys for being here. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. <laughs> I hope you'll watch some of the other stuff that I have, Project Zomboid or not. Room where all these also happening right now, of course. So yeah, I'll see you guys around. And of course, if you're on Discord, I'm on Discord every day. If you pop into my channel, you can always ask me stuff. If you want to know more about the channel itself, about me, or basically you want to talk about anything else. So thank you for being here and take care.